So go on a journey with me to discover why the Electoral College is a very, very good idea and should stay. So we have a country called the Allied Providence, which is a nation consisting of four providences or states or kingdoms, as you'd like to call it. But they've united together under one government so they can have a better relationship and get things done and for a national defense agreement. So let's start off with the Providence of Riches. The Providence of Riches has a population of 15 million and is the city. It's where all the cities are at. It's the urban district of this country, of this continent. These are where the malls are at. These are where most of the rich people live. These are where the movies are made, which influences the pop culture of the country. This is where the engineers are at. This is where the best colleges are at. This is where the skyscrapers are at. Tall apartment buildings. Basically, their wealth doesn't come from agriculture. So this province is known as the Dry Plains. It has a population of 35,000. The entire center of the state, or Providence, is a desert. So as you can imagine, there's no real big cities because there's no water running through it. It all happens to be in the city. However, on the outskirts, they rely on agriculture, which comes from the sea that they are at, and they borrow water from the city. Basically, they pay the city, they pay the providence of riches for water. So the people living here knows what it's like to do agriculture and live in a very dry environment. So over here, we have the Eastern Plains. They do not live in a desert, but they have a population of 50,000. They rely heavily on agriculture. It's a little more urban than the dry plains, but they have water. They don't have any major rivers. They buy their most of their water from the Providence of Riches, but they do have little creeks, and they are in close proximity to the ocean. Their climate is not dry, so they rely heavily on agriculture and some industrial. Basically, their entire state will be a mix between the urban district, the Providence of Riches, and the agriculture aspect of the Dry Plains. And over here we have the Eastern Island, and they have a small population of 3,000 due to the lack of land space. They rely on fishing, a little bit of agriculture, and they are in close proximity to water and happily sell to the Dry Plains. However, they are completely useless to the big city as the city can fish as well, and so can every other state. However, they have more tropical weather due to their location by the equator of this imaginary world. So they export a lot of coconuts and bananas and other delicious tropical fruits. So now riddle me this. Which of these countries do you think has the most power when it comes to the popular vote? because they elect their ruler through popular vote. You see, each province is allowed their own government, but they must answer to the much more powerful federal government. The populations of the more rural parts of the country don't even have a population enough to outvote the province of riches. So as you can imagine, the culture from the Providence of Riches is going to be very different from the Dry Plains and the Eastern Plains, and obviously is going to be very different from the Eastern Island, as the Eastern Island is going to be is going to have a complete separate culture from the entirety of the Allied Province on the mainland continent. So they each rely on completely different systems in order to stay wealthy and run their country. Basically, the same regulations that might work in the city of Providence of Riches, with a population of 15 million, is not going to work on the Eastern Island, or the Dry Plains, or the Eastern Plains, because they are completely separate cultures, completely separate ways of life. The Dry Plains, however, does get some water when the rivers running through the Providence of Riches floods towards the east, because that happens to be the flood table. But I know what you're thinking. If they want to say, they should move to the city. It's not our fault that most of the people live in the city. So, therefore, the popular vote should still count because that's the majority of the people. The only argument I have against that, honestly, the only one you need to debunk that, is that without the Dry Plains, without the Eastern Plains, the Providence of Riches starves. The Dry Plains and the Eastern Plains are completely self-efficient. They are completely independent and can feed themselves and can maintain their population. 
The Eastern Island is also completely self-sufficient and can feed themselves and govern themselves. But as a result of the popular vote, the Providence of Riches, the city slickers are going to completely outnumber the Dry Plains, Eastern Plains, and Eastern Island because as a result of their way of life, as a result of the entire eastern part of the country being mostly agriculture, and the entire western part of the country being mostly urban life, they're going to have a completely different culture and a completely different view on politics and on who they should elect, and their, their interests are going to be completely different. The Providence of Riches is going to vote for themselves, for their priorities. Now, would our electoral college work for this country? Who knows? Probably not, because most of the electorate votes would still probably go to the Providence of Riches. However, what is guaranteed is that the popular vote is going to hurt the entire eastern part of the country, the mid and eastern part of the country. It's going to be in pain. The regulations that keep the provenance of riches running are not going to work in the rural districts of your country. The eastern part of this country is not going to have a say in the elections. Their voice is not going to be heard because of the popular vote. Together they won't even get half of the say that the providence of riches gets. So they're going to get leaders that don't know what it's like to live in the Eastern Plains as a result of city people electing these leaders. And that, my friends, is why the popular vote on a nation scale, on a massive scale, is the most fucking stupid idea you could ever think of. Did you like that video? Then don't forget to subscribe for more content. Leave a comment about your thoughts or about what you want to see next. Or if you want to call me names for having different political opinions than you, then be my guest. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.